Hi there. Hey, this is Paul Hansen, and uh, just want to let you know about this series here. Uh, some of my focus is going to be on classical musicians, classical musicians uh, learning to improvise. So I would say that this is a good video for that. Thank you. <laughs> Hi there, hey, this is Paul Hansen, and welcome to my uh, music tutorial video series. Uh, today's uh, tutorial is going to be on a tune called Joy Spring by Clifford Brown, and more primarily it's going to talk about something called consecutive thirds, uh, which is a technique of linking notes of a major scale or a minor scale, or any scale really, in thirds as opposed to playing in by each step. So example, example number one, here's the F major scale. Now, if I was going to play that in consecutive thirds, uh, first let's determine what thirds are. An F major scale in thirds would sound like this. So, consecutive thirds are just a series of thirds. I do them in rows of four. So here's four consecutive thirds. If I continue to play the scale like that, first note starts on F, and the next row of four starts on G, next row of four starts on A, and so on. Same thing coming down. So, what you can do is you play them in that order, or you can also turn around the order and go retrograde, like this. And so forth, or going down. Remember, once you learn all your consecutive third patterns in all keys, it becomes much easier to play a tune like this because instead of playing scales, you're basically playing chords and are much more vertical in your approach.
Hello guys, I'm filming this last little bit from this new location, which is gonna be my studio once it's finished. Um, now, very importantly, that example of soloing over tune using one basic technique is something I never recommend for any musician just to stick to one thing. Obviously, it's just a technique, and uh, you look at different techniques as islands in an ocean where you're trying to get from one place to another by stepping on land. The more stuff you know, the more stuff is in the water in between long distances, so you can basically, you have less water to negotiate uh, on your own when you have more things you know. So you're able to hopscotch between different techniques and different things that you know how to do. Say, play you know, rhythmically, play some motifs, uh, you know, call and response, uh, play scales, play minor pentatonics, play uh, consecutive thirds, all these different type of things. You add together that and just listening and playing music and you come up with some nice improvisations that way. So don't just do one thing like this video for a solo in front of a, an audience. Thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.